Hey everybody, welcome back. Today in the Cheapo Spotlight, the TAC Life DM10. Oh, this is one snazzy looking multimeter. This TAC Life is the only multimeter I've ever seen that has a see-through body. Yeah, that's right. You can actually see right through the meter. Cool. Auto ranging with a ton of functionality. Let's see just how good it performs. Welcome back everybody. Boy, some wild and crazy times we are living through, but hey, my mantra for 2020 and 2021, hopefully not 2022, but who knows? Stay calm and multimeter on. Yeah, no worries. We're gonna get through this and it's all gonna be just fine. As well, we get our standard test leads, which I'll take a closer at short look at shortly. And we get some nice little crocodile clips. Yeah, that's uh, handy when you get these with your multimeter. Now, um, sometimes we get the El Cheapo type where the uh, innards start to come out of the plastic or the PVC and it's a real mess, but uh, hopefully these are better. And I gotta say, we get a pretty good looking user manual. TacLife user manual, professional digital multimeter. Well, that's good, it's professional. Now, according to the manual, they're saying the design adapts a dual interjection mold. I guess they mean like double mold injection. Um, that's what gives it its exquisite, and they're even saying exquisite appearance that is both comfortable and durable by using an all ABS material. Well, it definitely is exquisite, and so is the manual. Good job, Tag Life. Um, it tells us everything we need to know. We have some nice pictures, schematics. Uh, yeah, multiple languages. Nice to see a real user manual. Fit and finish is definitely a step above your average cheapo. Um, very, very nicely done. Good molding as they're talking about um, and a solid, really solid, robust uh, feel to it. I really am impressed by the build quality for Cheapo. And as I was talking about in the intro, look at that. Yeah, you can see right through. Oh my God, that is so cool. Now, what they didn't do is put any sort of like crazy lighting. Can you imagine that just would have been off the charts? But uh, suffice to say, you could probably tweak this to your uh, ability. Good array of soft touch buttons as well. Uh, nice feel altogether. Mm, beauty. Taking a closer look at the selector switch, starting at the 12 o'clock or off position. Going left takes us to volts AC-DC, up to 600 volts. Four-way battery tester, 1.5 volts to 12 volts. NCV, non-contact voltage. Resistance, continuity, and diode. Microamps AC-DC, milliamps AC-DC. And finally, high current amps AC-DC up to 10 amps. On the input jacks on the left, we have the high current input up to 10 amps. In the middle, we have our common or ground. And finally, on the right, we have our diode continuity battery tester, volts, AC-DC, resistance, microamps, and milliamps. At the top, we have our soft touch buttons, function, hold, backlight, and a flashlight. Without further ado, let's turn on this little beast of burden. And there we go. And when you turn it on, it also defaults to volts DC. How is that for cool? You can actually see the batteries you need. <laughs> Good thinking tack life. You know what? Kind of makes you wonder why don't all multimeters have see-through battery housing? I'm telling you, that is just oh so handy. Three triple A's. Mm, my eyes don't deceive me. Ooh. So right now I have the flashlight and the backlight enabled. And look at that, you can actually see that illuminated uh, display. There's the elastomer underneath it. And I mean, that's just so cool. Oh, doesn't stay on for very long. Go figure. Uh, yeah, but um, very nice. In terms of the flashlight, it's okay. Um, a little subdued. I'd like to see something perhaps a little bit brighter. But you know what, if it's pitch black, yeah, it'll definitely help. Okay, so we don't this one pretty funky looking meter, but how the hell does it perform? Is it any good or is it just good looking? Well, you know what, let's see what's cooking. Thanks for choosing Tag Life. Before I forget, let me point out as well that they also sent is funky little screwdriver, little Phillips screwdriver, all black, you know, and very, very nice. Those bundled test leads are actually really, really nice. Um, another good surprise. They're rated, uh, oh, they even have the TAC Life branding on them. That's good. You know, hey, when a manufacturer puts their name on the test lead, you know they are responsible. Um, 
Nice to see. So these are rated at, what do we have? Uh, um, where's our rating? I know you're here somewhere. There we are. Cat 2, 1000 volts. So, you know what? I believe it because these are very nice. And look at the finger guard here. Nice little grooved inlay, so you're gonna have nice grip. Oh, oh, whoa! Hey, I didn't even, oh, very nice. Look at the tip. Oh, cool. Does that come off? It must come off, probably screw, it does, it screws off. Oh, very nice tack life. So we have these little lantern style tips as well. Free of charge. Well, I mean free, I bought the meter. You know what I mean. Very nice. I think that comes off. Should come off. Uh, yeah, it comes off. It doesn't come off. Okay, it is on there permanently. Cool. So uh, there you go. Hey, nothing wrong with that though. Uh, might be a little in the way if you're doing some tiny SMD probing, but uh, for most intents and purposes, this is very nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Protective shroud, nice and thick. And look at that. Look how it fits in that input. Oh, nice. Nicely done. I mean, that is solid. That is not going anywhere, folks. That's what I like to see in the cheapo realm. Beauty. Good stuff. <gasps> Serious business. DC voltage time. Precision voltage. How cool is that? Hey, look at those lantern leads. That's what I mean. They just come in so handy. Just plop it in and you are ready for action. Okay, here we go. Going to turn on the power supply. And we should be looking at five volts. Five voltsies. Five volts is what we want. 4.99 is what we get. No worries though, it is definitely in spec. Looking at resistance next, sitting in the decade box at nine mega ohm. And nine mega ohm is what we get. Eight mega ohm, six mega ohm, four mega ohm, three, two, one. Who's your daddy? One mega ohm, so that's pretty fast to range. It's not cycling and uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Lab grade resistor time, 100 ohm. Oh, beauty. Yeah, nice and precise. And as I mentioned earlier, you have these nice clip-on crocodile style leads, alligator clips, whatever the heck you want to call them. They're nice. And they just go into that tip like so. Oh yeah, beauty. So we've got a 15K 1% precision resistor. Let us see how good it does. Put on the other tip. Gotta say, I'm really impressed with these leads. Definitely a step above. Uh, yeah, this is not a cheapo set of leads by any means. Already 15K is what we want. 15.19K, excellent. As I said, really nice test leads. Let's see how accurate they are. We do not have a rel feature, but hopefully we don't need one. Oh yeah, beauty. Nice leads. LED diode testing is next. Put it into LED mode, hit that function switch. There we go. And we are ready for action, for some tack life action. Start off with the green LED. No worries there. And there's the forward voltage drop over to the yellow. And yes, barely lit, but we do have that forward drop. And the red, same thing, looking good. Next up, the blue. Oh, no can do on Mr. Blue. And over to the white. Yeah, same thing. Oh, that's too bad. I thought we we're gonna do a five for five here, but oh, don't walk away. I'm not done with you yet. So yes, three to five in terms of the forward voltage drop. Uh, yeah, well, okay, next. Trying to light up an LED strip here as well. And yeah, no can do. Oh, this thing is just not good when it comes to light emitting diodes. Now I thought I'd bring in another opinion, Mr. H2113C Habitest. Let's see if he can light up those LEDs. Oh yes, he can. Oh yeah. Off and on, off, on, on, off, off, on. Oh, beauty. Good job. I'll put voltage in dial mode. Oh, a measly 2.2 volts. Continuity time. Here we go. Default stock test leads. How's it gonna be with these lantern style leads? Whoops. Three, two, one.
Very nice, very quick, latched, fairly loud. Better than I was expecting. Pearl Masters, here we go. Yeah, just a tad faster, but really no noticeable improvement at all from the default test leads. Nice. Sixty seven point nine decibels maximum output in continuity. DM ten does not do capacitance. Uh uh, sorry. Not here. Ah, oh, fail. Fail. Let's try this NCV, shall we? So we're getting one bar right now. Don't have to hold down on it or anything, it's just plug and play. Let's try that light switch now. Getting two bars here. And you can see that flashlight actually acts as a visual indicator as well, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, not bad, not bad. High current mode right now at 6.42 amps, showing up at 6.82, just a little bit off. Um, that is it for the Sigland here, maxed out at just over 6 amps. Take it down. Yeah, looking good. No worries here. Okay, sitting at 197 milliamps right now. And let's just try taking it up a little bit over 200 milliamps. And no, we're stuck at that 200 milliamp threshold. So uh, yeah, not the greatest meter if you do lots of milliamp work. You're good to 200, but that's about it. Sitting in microamps right now. Uh, 800 microamps coming up as 767. If I can get it back. Come on, there we go. Take it down a little bit. 370 microamps coming up, sitting at around 400. And let's bring it down to 200. And coming up as 170 microamps. So, eh, eh. Closer look at the back of this without that uh, holster on. Look at that, it's so cool. How often do you see the IC with the chassis attached? Very nice, I like it, I like it a lot. Now if only they had put some nice little LED in there just to, you know, take it up a notch, that would have been truly awesome. Cool, oh, very nice, very nice. Tear down time, take a look at the back, and yes, no shielding, but you know what, I guess that would have screwed up everything. Uh, having some shielding would mean you don't see what is inside the meter. So really wasn't expecting it. Uh, yeah. There's our three AAA batteries that power the tech life. Um, very nice translucent, really nice molding job. You can tell this is some high quality the plastic that they've utilized. Uh, very nice fit and finish overall. Here's something you don't see every day in the cheapo RAM. It is a 750 volt fuse on the milliamp range, 250 milliamp rating. But wow, yeah, nice to see, look at that. Oh, five by 20 ceramic. And on the high current side, we have another five by 20 ceramic, uh, 700 volt, 10 amp rated fuse. So good stuff, Tack Life. Uh, one of the few manufacturers I've seen thus far to give us some decent rated fuses. Input jack wise, nicely done. They are the double sided split variety. Nice big blobs of solder holding them in and they're definitely not going anywhere. Uh, we have a pretty decent looking current shunt on the high current side over here. And once again, we have our nice 10 amp fuse on the high current. Also have a dial clamp up here on the high current side. On the voltage side, a couple of PTCs, uh, no melts or anything, but nice to see at least two PTCs in this cheapo. Let's just move up a little bit, shall we? Uh, on the right hand side here is our speaker slash piezo. Main IC is cobbed and there is our elastomer and all of the backlight display paraphernalia over here. Now if we creep up a teeny bit more on the board, voila, there is our NCV non-contact voltage. Right, What they've done is they've actually soldered a spring to the filament uh, for the NCV. So okay, well you know, better than nothing. Um, not the most elegant solution perhaps, but uh, yeah. Finally at the top here we have our LED for the flashlight. Uh, that's it, that's all. A little bit of blast protection as well on the side. Hey, not too bad for a $30 meter. I gotta say, yeah, much better than I expected. 
generally speaking, pretty nice looking PCB. And hey, you gotta love that black. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Very, very nice. Probably a step up just because they know people can see inside with all this translucent chassis going on. But uh, probably one of the nicest looking PCBs uh, I've seen yet in the cheap old realm. Very, very nicely done. Okay, gonna put everything back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Tac Life DM10. Wow, you know, I have mixed emotions about this one. On the one hand, it's got some great build quality. I really like the look. I like what they've done. Um, and overall, it's a pretty decent meter, but that's the whole thing. It's decent. You know, there's nothing here that just wowed me other than that form factor and those old, so cool, transparent chassis. Uh, the rest of it was, well, mediocre at best. There's definitely better options out there. Let's face it, the H2113C from Habitest does more uh, for less. In fact, it didn't have capacitance as well. Seems to be a big omission, at least in a meter of this genre. For the occasional user who doesn't need capacitance, I guess it's an okay meter. And you know what? Those test leads are some of the best I've seen yet in the cheap old realm. Kudos to Tac Life. You did a heck of a job with those test leads. I really think they could have taken this, ooh, so snazzy external and really pimped it out a bit. Um, you know, put a LED in the back, maybe around the selector switch and really have it pop. It really would have made it extra special. Instead, oh, they kind of went halfway and it just doesn't feel finished. The Tac Life DM10 gets three out of five stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. February is gonna be an uber cool month. You might've noticed we have a Sanwa week coming. That's right, five days of Sanwa. So here's your chance to learn some more about this great Japanese company and check out some hot testing gear courtesy of Sanwa Instrument Japan. If you haven't already done so, check out the new website, keepontesting.com, keepontesting.com. For the next one, keep on testing.